Magic Mike's Last Dance. Former male stripper Mike Lane, who lost his furniture business during the COVID-19 pandemic, is now in his 40s, still in Miami, and a bartender for a catering company. At Maxandra Max Mendoza's fundraising event, Mike is recognized by Kim, a lawyer for Max's foundation. Afterward, Mike is asked to speak with Max privately. Alone, Max says Kim told her about his prowess and asks how much for a lap dance. Mike says he is retired, but ultimately says $60,000 when pushed. Max says $6,000 with no happy ending, but during the dance she and Mike give in to passion and sleep together. The next morning, Mike refuses the $6,000, but Max offers him the $60,000 to go to London and the United Kingdom for a month. Mike agrees but only as her boyfriend. She accepts and they travel to London together. Max's ex-husband Roger gave her the Radigan Theater in their divorce, settlement, and she announces the theatrical production presently in place of the play Isabel, Ascend, will be halted for one month, so, Mike, Lane, can, choreograph, a special dance production. As Mike and Max discuss the logistics of this show she, has come up with, her teenage daughter Zaday arrives. Distrustful of him, she explains that her mother tries to reinvent herself every few years. Auditions for potential dancers are soon underway. An actress from the original show Isabel Ascend shows up, wanting to participate. This inspires them to rethink the new show with elements of the original, so they cast her. Going to dinner with a few of Max's London contacts, Mike feels out of his element. Later on, in the car, when Max moves toward physical intimacy with him, and he pulls back, it upsets her. The next day in rehearsal, she is excessively critical of his choreography. Max and Mike build a temporary extension of the stage, so the show has a much more palpable feel. The city of Westminster threatens sanctions due to alterations to the historical building without prior approval. They persuade the only woman on the board, Edna Eagle Bauer, to support the show. As she lives a quiet life alone, they fill her morning bus with the men from the show. Edna gets her own sample, as the ten men do a flirty, choreographed number just for her benefit. She gives them her seal of approval.